Welcome to another issue of NEC Suites. Here today joining me is Tony Jenkins, Market President for the Central Florida Region of Florida Blue. Tony, thank you for joining us. Thanks for inviting me. Well, we are super excited to have you, not only because you're an investor of the NEC and we get to learn more about your organization, but I, I am excited about the conversation we're going to have about insurance and healthcare. Um, and I want to start the, the conversation by talking about the number one issue with all employers in the workforce right now, and that's employee retention and recruitment. Um, we, we've heard for many years, employees are often looking for a higher salary, but that's not it, correct? No, you're right. Um, one of the things that we pride ourselves on um, is our culture. Uh, we know that the ability for employees to, to get a paycheck is universal. Every, everyone pays a salary, but, but everyone also uh, needs to provide a place where people feel like they can do their best work. They've got a team of supported individuals and they've got leadership that supports them and values them. We know that we're hitting the mark on this because we do an annual survey twice a year. Hmm. And we test our employees on how they feel about their culture. But one of the things that we want is engagement. Mm -hmm. Our engagement is close to 90% of 18,000 employees that participates in our survey. That's amazing, amazing. Now, when you're talking about culture, that includes the overall well-being of an employee. Yes. Tell me yes. about the value because it's not just providing them with insurance. And nope. as an insurance company, obviously your employees have that. No. Nope. But how 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 is how much more is it than just I broke my arm and I get to go to the doctor to get it fixed? So we, uh, as a part of the survey, not only do we ask questions about um, their, their overall um, feeling about their work, but we get into questions about their well-being also. Um, and, and you think about that, we don't really factor in that our employees also are paying for health insurance also. Mm -hmm. So we want to make sure that they're on a journey of health as well. And we test out a lot of aspects of things that we want to introduce outside of our workplace mm -hmm. with our own employees. So we introduce rewards to our employees. We introduce wellness programs to our own employee base, just like we would our members and our customers. Let's talk about the wellness component. And uh, because oftentimes, you know, small businesses might think, well, I'll give a stipend and hope that an employee gets um, their own insurance and is taking care of themselves. It's not just, you know, eating properly. There's a mental health component. How important is an employee's overall well-being to a small business? I, I tell you, in today's world, we all see the devastating effects of when someone has poor uh, mental and behavioral health. And we recognize that we're part of the equation as well. So we offer all of our employees the opportunity to participate in wellness programs, behavioral health programs. Um, one of the things that our CEO says that we've all adopted is um, um, without mental health, there's no health. Oh, or, I like or, that. Without mental health, there is no health. Exactly. Absolutely. Exactly. So we understand the complexities that everyone um, brings to the workplace as far as them feeling um, emotionally well, uh, physically well. So we um, um, contribute a lot of effort into our employees' well-being. Because if we do it for our own employees, then we're going to extend that externally. Leading by example. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. Right. So let's talk about the services and uh, work that you do within the community to, to help small businesses. Um, and I learned this this morning, in fact, we ha had a breakfast where previously insurance policies have gotten so expensive that 80% of the small business market exited yep. Yes. 
just even having any kind of yes. health insurance. Yes. How is Florida Blue work yes. to address that, to re-engage? Uh, I'm so um, excited to work for an organization where we just don't consider um, uh, profits as the end all. We want to make sure that we are a company that uh, knows we're doing business in this state. And our mission statement really is very simple, helping people and communities achieve better health. So better health means financial health mm -hmm. as well. So one of the two things that we've done to help small businesses on the affordability factor, we've introduced two new products which, which businesses can purchase to help offer health insurance for their employees. One is called Truly. Um, and, and we called it Truly uh, because it, we, we intend for it to mean truly for health. Hmm. And so what we've done is we, we've done a partnership with a major healthcare system um, here in this region. We went to them and we said, we've got to help out small businesses. If we were able to um, work with you for employers to use your facilities only, are you willing to, to discount your prices somewhat? They said, yes. So Truly is a product, it's called a narrow network where you go to one system of, of doctors, hospital care and services. And let me tell you something, those costs are generally 15 to 20% below wow what someone could get from a normal plan. Wow. And and small wow. businesses have benefited from this plan. And that and that group is pretty has a very extensive network. So yes. it's across central Florida. It's not just nope. a clinic in the nope. middle of nowhere. Nope. They're yep. in the everyone's backyard practically. We did not want to somehow discount quality, mm -hmm. discount value, discount services, same services, same quality. It's Excellent. just with that uh, wide hospital system. Yeah. So you mentioned that was one. What was yes. the other? The other is called Blue Select. Blue Select. Similar, similar um, um, network, but it does give some opportunities to get some outside um, specialists as well. So mm -hmm. it's just a similar product, but we've added a little bit more of a network, an outside network with Blue Select is called. So as a small business owner, if I'm interested in looking into providing insurance to, to my yes. employees, um, I know, uh, what, what, I guess the question is, how do we start? Yep. How, what's the first step? How do they sure. figure out what's available or how to navigate these waters? So the, the best opportunity is to sit down in front of one of our experts. And how do we find an expert? So two, two different ways. Uh, number one, we have a retail center. Okay. Uh, we've got three in this area, and, and we wanted to take our people from, from individuals reaching us through an 800 number only. We want to get those folks off the phones and get them out in front of the community. To do the one-on-ones. Yes. In person. In person. And you know what I like about that? Business yes. is all about relationship you're right. building. And that's you're right. what you're doing. You're building you're a right. relationship. So you're right. it's no longer ster a, a sterile you're right. 800 number. You're right. So we took three types of different um, um, professionals. We, we took a, we, we take the salespeople. So if one someone wants to buy a product, if someone has a claims issue or service issue, we know how it is trying to call an 800 number. We have that individual also in the retail center. We've got three in this area. We have one in the Winter Park Village. We have one in um, Claremont. And then we have another in Winter Haven. So it kind of covers okay. the whole yeah, the region. region. But here in Orlando, oh, and we also opened up a new one. Let me let me say this as well, next to Camping World Stadium. Oh, nice. In uh, near right downtown. right near mm -hmm. right near downtown, mm -hmm. um, in the Lift Orlando area, it's called. Mm -hmm. uh, but there's a health and new health and wellness center. So we got four in this area: two in Orlando, Winter Park, and near the Camping World Stadium. Fantastic. Get in front of a person face to face to be able to talk about these issues. Can folks just walk in or they yes. need, okay, perfect. Yes. So that's the accessibility as well. Yes. Uh, entrepreneurs oftentimes, Absolutely. you know, are, are, are focused on yep. their wares and if they get, we if they drive by, we and stop by, they can. people to walk in and see one of Fantastic. our folks. Now, the Guidewell. I want to yes. talk a little about Florida yes. Blue and Guidewell. How? Yes. What's that relationship like? Yes. Describe that. So or, it's interesting. Guidewell to some people is fairly new, and and here's very simply what what we've done. 
Florida Blue is our insurance arm. We've been offering health insurance in this state under Blue Cross and Blue Shield, Florida Blue, for over 80 years. We want to get into some other aspects of health care, mm -hmm. to service, to see patients, um, to offer some of these Florida Blue, but we could not do it under the Office of Insurance Regulation said, no, you're an insurance company. You can't do all these other aspects of health care. Hmm. So we had to create a parent company called Guidewell. Ah. So under Guidewell, and now Florida Blue is just a subsidiary of Guidewell. Guidewell. Same company, but under Guidewell, we're able to offer more along the continuum of health care. We have Guidewell Emergency Doctors, which is our urgent care mm -hmm. and freestanding ER. We have our Florida Blue Retail Centers. We have Sanitas, which is a new primary care offering in this community. We're able to offer primary care. We have our Guidewell Innovation Center uh, in we Lake Nona. Mm -hmm. So we're able to, Guidewell just gives us the opportunity to do more related to health in addition the to health insurance. The more holistic approach yes. to well-being. Um, well, you were kind enough to, to send out a sneak peek at the, of the GuideWell Impact Report for 2023, and yes. I had the chance to go through it. And wow was a big word, you know, was the word that came to me as I was reading through it because you truly are putting your money where your motto is. Yes. I know your president, yes. um, Pat, um, Pat, Pat Goddery. Yes, ha Pat Garrity. Yep. Garrity, thank yep. you. Um, believes in the philosophy of lead well. And yes. as a corporation, your mission is meaningful advances towards helping people and communities achieve better health. Yes, And that yes. was truly represented in this document that I know is going to circulate to the community. Um, but big takeaways for me were you're investing in access to health care. And this one, having a younger brother with diabetes, um, you work towards improving diabetes testing and screening uh, for Black Florida Blue members. Mm -hmm. And it moved the needle by 2% mm -hmm. in just one year mm -hmm. with, with the population mm -hmm. that, that mm -hmm. it targeted. That's a big deal in one year. Yes. 2%, yes. which doesn't sound like much, but no. diabetes yes. Yes. in this community yes. runs rampant. Right. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm a Hispanic. We love our chicharrones, yes, yes, which, you yes. know, is the epitome of bad, yes. <laughs> of bad food, but yes. we enjoy it and it, it, it takes a toll. Um, but strengthening food insecurities, you supplied 52.9 million meals, you know, within this community through uh, and awarded 3.3 million in Florida Blue, from a Blue, Florida Blue Foundation grants to nine different organizations to mm -hmm. help strengthen this were absolutely remarkable. And mm -hmm. then fostering mental health well-being, you donated 3.2 million mm -hmm. from the foundation to 10 organizations that again, move the needle. There, there was one, one, one item that, again, wow. So you engaged um, a number of individuals with the Me Equilibrium program, which is a mental well-being support tool, and 50% of those that utilized that tool mm -hmm. in one year, 50% mm -hmm. experienced lower anxiety and depression. Wow. And in this day and age, mm -hmm. and I think during the pandemic, we really saw just yes. Yes. the meaning of mental health and the importance you're, of mental health. You're right. You're right. So um, I'm excited and proud to work for a company um, that views our, our efforts extends beyond our corporate walls. A lot of people don't know that we're a not-for-profit ourselves. Ah. We're, not, we're not a for-profit business. We are a non-profit. Now, we're, 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 we're a little bit on the larger non-profits, but that means that we understand and we want to be a part of the community solutions. In, ad in, in, uh, in addition to the health, what are other challenges that the community is facing? We want to join arms and link in with other leaders and helping to solve community issues. That's why in that impact report, you're gonna see us supporting aspects related to food insecurity. Matter of fact, 
our Florida Blue Foundation is the group that put out this impact report. And our three themes from the foundation that we're going to be focused on throughout the whole state of Florida, we, we can't have 20, pro, 20 themes, mm-hmm. but we've the narrowed focus. it down to three. Yeah. Mental health, food and security, and health equity. So you're going to see in that report of how do we make an impact partnering with stakeholders, partnering with other key organizations to change the impact, to change the lives of citizens of Florida that are challenged with those three areas, many others, but primarily with those three areas over the next several years. Fantastic. We are so impressed with this report and all the work that you do. And we are especially grateful here at the National Entrepreneur Center to have Florida Blue as one of our investors, one of our partners. Mm -hmm. You definitely believe in investing in the community, and we Mm -hmm. are so grateful for, for that philosophy. Tony, thank you for joining us today, and thank you for watching. Start or grow your business, make connections, and you see the possibilities. Thank you very much, Brenda.